Satisfactory Update 7 is now here and with it, the long-awaited Blueprint feature. To unlock Blueprints, you need to have access to Tier 4 and must unlock the Fix-It Blueprints milestone. Then go to the Special Builder menu and select the Blueprint Designer. In here, you can build pretty much anything, with some exceptions. A few things to note, you can select recipes and they will be saved. You can set signs up and the signs will keep their displays and you can even set up overclocking with power shards. Once completed, head over to the Blueprint Designer station here you can give your blueprint a name, an icon, and a background color. You will also want to set the directory by pressing, you guessed it, clear design. Oops, nope. <laughs> I mean set directory. <laughs> Here you can set new categories by clicking edit then add category. Clicking the gear icon on a category will allow you to rename the category and give it an icon. Inside a category, you can create subcategories. Once created, a subcategory's name can be renamed. You can then add a blueprint by pressing the add blueprint here button. Save that directory structure by clicking apply changes, then X out of the category menu. Finally, save the blueprint to finalize the blueprint. You can clear the blueprint area by clicking clear designer. All materials used for the blueprint will be sent to the storage container here. This storage container can be used to load all sorts of materials and when you build inside the blueprint designer it will first get materials from this box before going to your inventory. You can place down a blueprint by going to the build menu then blueprints and clicking a blueprint. You can also assign a blueprint to your hotbar as you would do any other buildable. There are two build modes for blueprints default and blueprint. Once you place down a blueprint you can use the blueprint mode to snap to other blueprints. You can move blueprint files between saves that includes downloading blueprint files from somewhere like satisfactorycalculator.com. You will have to have unlocked blueprints in that save and create one blueprint first or else the file structure won't be there. Head over to the save games folder for the game and in here you will find a blueprints folder along with a folder for each save you have. Inside the save folder you will find these blueprint files. You can put the downloaded files in here or move them between your save folders. You'll have to restart your your game in order for the game to find them. This has been a satisfactory blueprints under 150 seconds. If you would love to see more short videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.